This is Throne of Eldraine. Another way to do it. Wait, no. What, what does he do? This is a 2008 Toyota Camry in low mileage. No, I'm kidding. All right, folks. Welcome back. This is Rudy. What you're looking at is Throne of Drain Your Wallet. How are we doing? Ah. So we have a conversation today. So just to let everybody catch everybody up to speed who just uh, likes to run around with anger and negativity. These are what we like to call... Oh, is that going to fall? I don't know if that was a smart idea. So these are thrown... Here's an open one. These are Throne of Eldrain Master Blister Cases. These were originally distributed through, mostly through... Ah, what were those two companies? MJ Holdings, what was the other one called? Ah, it's going to kill me now. Comment section, what's the other distributor called for the big box stores? For your local Amazon and your local uh, tire store and gas station. So anyways, these were, these were blister master cases were thrown about drain. They would take the individual packs and they would hang them on the hanger tabs, hence the name blister packs. Because they would hang them and it's kind of like the booster pack is in between, so they call them booster blister packs. Um, historically... These type of things are not preferred to a booster box. A booster box is always preferred over the individual blister pack because of the way distribution and sorting. So they always carry a slight premium, usually 10, 20% compared to the counterpart of blister packs. So let's get that out in the open first. So each one of these cases contains essentially 10 Throne of Eldraine collector boxes. It looks like this. Okay? So each master case is equal to 10 Throne of Eldraine. Do I have any of those? Collector boxes. So, here, hang on. Here's a close one. I don't have Throne, but I got... So this is, you know, each one of these is equal to 10 of these. This is Zendikar. I don't have any Throne ones. Do I have any Throne ones? I gotta check the inventory. So that gives you an idea. Now, obviously, for those of you who weren't around a year ago, or whatever the reason is, um, these were originally distributed to warehouses around the country, and they were supposed to be placed in big box stores. They started doing that. Tremendous amount of theft was occurring. And some of you even messaged me saying, yeah, Rudy. And they, I've, had, I've had people actually message me showing their takes and spoils of war that they've stolen from these stores. Unbelievable. Essentially, people were buying a $4 Throne of Eldraine pack. And they would put a whole stack of the collector packs. And they would put the $4 pack on top. And they would go to self-checkout of the cashier. And the cashier would be like, oh, how many booster packs do you have? And they would take the top pack. And you'd say, oh, I have 20 packs. And she would verify there's 20, scan the top $4 pack at times 20 in the register, and people are getting away with literally collector packs for $3.99. Tremendous amount of losses, the rumors in the millions were occurring from these uh, distributors that were trying to deal in these collector products. Eventually, there was a falling out, they, and then the rest of these things that were in warehouses never made it to the stores. They just, they scrapped it and they stopped shipping them. So these were stuck in the warehouse. They didn't even make it to the stores. So then these were shipped back to Wizards, and they had a falling out, and then eventually Wizards said, okay, Let's put it to the normal distributors, to the LGS model, and then long story short, blah, blah, blah. Here we are today, and yeah, um, they, it was a mess. So that's why you don't really see that anymore. So, um, my story and how I came involved with this was about, oh God, is it six, six to nine months ago, I was contacted by all the distributors saying, hey, Rudy, a heads up, is this something you're interested in? Because we're trying to find out how much we want to order for our company. And I said, well, yeah, I mean, throwing a bell drain collector boxes at the time, the collector boxes were like $240 on eBay. Now they're $280 pushing $300. So at the time, I was like, oh, for $240, that's great. I'll buy, I'll, I can get a bunch of these things. I can sell them to patrons and I can put them on eBay. I can put them in the local stores. I can do all kinds of crap. I can open some of them on box openings. I can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. And I was like, okay, cool. So worst case, you know, I'll sell them for, you know, what? I don't know, $199 for a collector box since the market's at $240, $250. So long story short, um, didn't sell worth a crap. Like I put some on eBay, didn't sell. I even put them locally, tried to do some special deals with some people locally, nothing. I, I even did some specials with the patrons. Very few patrons bought it. They just weren't a fan. Now remember, at this point in time, the Throne of Eldraine was still in print and collector boxes of Throne were only at $240. Now, the world is very different in the last four or five months. Things have changed a lot, as we know. So now, collector boxes of Throne are pushing towards 300 And now, I ran one little sale to patrons just to sell some of this. And, you know, I got attacked really quickly. I had to end the sale early. Um, and I was selling them for $189 for, 20, for two boxes worth. So, which was, you know, pretty good amount below market. 
Anyway, so essentially I got stuck with the rest of this product because it didn't sell and I don't I didn't understand why. So I said screw it and I kept it and ladies and gentlemen, this is what a third of a million dollars worth of Throneville Drain collector blister packs looks like. Um, when things like that happen, just like the Pokemon bathroom situation from 2017, 2018, you have to remove the emotion, the frustration from it that you, you know, you got it wrong. I misplanned and miscalculated. You got to have the money tied up and you got to let it be. And that's something we talk about all the time on this channel. It's very, very important to have buffers on cash flows because you never know when a product line is going to turn on you. This is what I talked about in the Pokemon world in the last few weeks where I, I was hearing these stories of all these people getting pallets of Pokemon, trying to flip from their house and their third floor apartment. No disrespect for those individuals trying to make it. I respect the hustle. But what I'm seeing is an individual who's on the fourth floor apartment with one little bedroom and he's barely making ends meet and he's trying to start this business, which is great. I love that spirit. But if anything goes wrong and they get stuck with inventory that can't sell or to loss, they're in big trouble. Because historically, those type of people are leveraging credit cards in the 30 days of no interest so they have to pay back the credit card. So that's really what I wanted to get into here. I wanted people to kind of know a little bit of the backstory in the history of these Throne Collector Packs. Before I end the video here, I know it's a short video today. Um, wait, is it still running? Um, yeah, okay, good. We're only six minutes in. Okay, so before we end the video today, I just want you all to know a few things. Because uh, I, I, if I don't mention this, everyone's going to ask after the video. Rudy, where do you stand on this situation? Um, the market has turned. I didn't predict the 2021 extreme inflation and the money printing and money printer goes burr. I didn't, I didn't think it was going to get this extreme. I didn't plan for that as correctly on newer products. Um, I actually feel kind of fortunate. And I don't want to say lucky. I don't like the word, the L word, but I kind of feel like fate and the things unfolded very good for me when it comes to this product. I'm actually happy that people on eBay in the local store and patrons didn't buy all this product originally when I had it. And actually, I even offered some of the patrons privately a long-term loyalty sale where I was selling these cases for the Throneville Drain booster boxes for $169. Which, I mean, 12 packs equals one booster box for a collector. And again, everyone said thanks to the offer, Ruby, it's a good deal, but I just don't want to spend the money on it. I don't have the extra money on buying other stuff right now. It was a very, so I ended up again, getting stuck with a third of a million dollars of this product, which I believe I have the largest position of this product left over now. A lot of people cracked them and flipped them and did all kinds of stuff. So um, before I cut this off, though, I want to mention uh, I'm happy. I'm actually happy now. I've changed my negative attitude on this product because uh, moving forward, I think it has a bright future. You guys know how bullish I am on Throne of El Drain and War of the Spark. War at the end of the Bronze Era. War of the Spark boxes are $200 all day long. Just a matter of we just got to be patient for it to get there. So our war has already gone from 100 to 110, 120, 130. Dude, give it 12 months, you'll see. It's going to be like Dominaria 2.0. Uh, Throne of El Drain will be a little slower, but I do expect Throne of El Drain to have collector boxes. Throne of El Drain will be the first collector box to hit 500. And I think the 12 pack blister ones will be a little bit behind at 10, 20% where it may be three to 400. So 20% compared to, in other words, 80 cents on the dollar compared to whatever the price is of the collector box. So now that Throne of El Drain, we're getting down to the end where it's, a, it's not officially out of print for the regular boxes yet. Supposedly there's one or two more reprint waves coming, so don't get too excited. And um, yeah, that's how I, that's the story of how I ended up with a third of a million dollars of Throne and how I couldn't sell it. And now it's 2021 and I'm like, wow, it really does pay to be patient in this world. Whether it's Pokemon, Force of Will, Flesh and Blood, you know, Weiss, Magic the Gathering, all this stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, graded cards, new. It, it, the key is when things, when you get it wrong in the short term, you got to let the market fight itself. Let all the stores battle for their $2 profit per box. And you need to step back and you need to readdress it in the future. That's the key to really being successful in this long term. And that's very difficult to do because you have to tie your money up and it drains the cash flow. And that's how stores go bankrupt. That's how things happen and really bad things happen. So hope you all learned something today. I wanted to at least share and um, curious what people say. Have a great day, everybody.